Okay, this is a basic introduction to creating shapes. Now, the, the most common thing you're going to do in Illustrator is just create shapes. Logos are shapes. Um, fonts are basically shapes. I mean, all of these different things are, are ways of um, creating shapes, okay? So let's go into um, some of the basic ways to create shapes over here on the um, the tool panel. The first one and the most basic one is going to be the shapes panel. Okay, so right here, let's click on the circle and you're gonna see the rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse, polygon, star tool, and flare tool. The flare tool I have literally never used, so I'm not gonna go into that. Um, now these tools are, you're basically, I mean, you kind of already know what these do, okay? So I, I click the Rectangle tool, whatever color is here is going to be the color that it creates. So let's click that and we can create a rectangle. Okay. Now, if I hold it and drag down like I'm doing, you can create whatever rectangle you want. If you hold down the shift key, you're going to get a perfect square. Okay. So here is our rectangle. Okay. I'm going to move that over here. Same thing with a uh, rounded rectangle is just a rectangle that has rounded angles. So if I just click once, it'll give you these options as to how you want to create the, um, not only the size of the rectangle, but how much you want to curve the, um, the corners. Okay, so let's click okay. And there we go. Or we can just do the same thing here. Um, I can just click and drag this out like that. Okay. Very simple. And on any of these tools, if you just grab them like the rectangle tool, if you just click it like this, click, you can create the rectangle just by putting what, how, how big you want the side. So let's do 200 uh, by 200 pixels. Let's see what we get. There we are. Okay. And if I want to change the color, whatever is selected, when you go over here to change the color is what will change. So I can change this to kind of a red color. I can select these two and both change them to a green color, which it did not do. Let's see, green color. There we go. Um, all right, let's move on. Circle, this is all kind of, I mean, I don't think it's really all that exciting. Uh, once we get to the polygon tool, now the polygon tool is cool because you can choose how many uh, points you, how many corners you want in it. So if I just want to, I'm going to drag it like it is now, and I've got a, um, what is that, five sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sides, okay? So what is that, septagon? Um, I'm not going to make an idiot out of myself, but if I click on this and I just uh, click once, I can decide how many sides that I want. So if I just want a triangle, I can go down to uh, three. The least you can do is three. So, okay. Okay. And there's a triangle. Or if I want, as I'm dragging it, I can hit the up key and I can just keep on adding, or I can go down the down keys and I can create as many, um, sides as I want. Okay. So let me delete all those. And the star tool, you know, it's kind of the same thing. I can drag that out and I've got a star. I can hit up and I'm going to get more of these guys. Hit, hit down. I don't use this one a whole lot, to be honest. Delete that. You can also, with the star tool, um, as you drag it out, you can hit the um, I'm hitting the Alt key, and let me see. You can, yeah, now I'm hitting the um, the Control key, and you can, as you're dragging it out, you can just make the little sprite, the little things as you drag it out. I'm just holding down the um, the Control key. And that's what allows you to do that. Okay. And these can be fun for little backgrounds. Let me, I'm just clicking these, delete. And you know, if you want to do a bunch, like in a background somewhere, this kind of gives you that 60s look. So that's kind of cool. 
Now, over here, let's check out a few more things. Everything here that when you create something, there's nothing that's going to be a raster file. It's all going to be vectors. So if I take the um, pencil tool, and you can see up here the different brushes, okay? So I'm going to take the pencil tool, and there we go. I'm just drawing with that. One thing that's good to know, um, and you can make a shape. Let me do Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to make a closed shape, so I'm going to draw a circle. And then as I get to the very edge here, I'm going to hit the um, Alt key. And now we've created a shape. And we can move that around. We can change the color. And you'll notice something over here that I'm going to talk about later. Um, the color of the line 